Continuing the control techniques tradition of providing our customers with easy to use motion control solutions, allow me to introduce the PTI 210 motion control module. The PTI 210 module is the perfect choice for anything from simple positioning application to complex motion applications like phase synchronization and rotary knives. Features include homing, indexing, and jogging, synchronized time base indexing, gearing, electronic cams, multiple motion profilers, high speed position capture queuing, two different types of programmable limit switches, and many more. Best of all, the PTI 210 motion control module is programmed using our industry-first, easy-to-use PowerTools Studio programming software. To prove how easy it is to use the PTI 210, watch as I configure a motion control application in five easy steps. This is the PowerTools Studio software user interface. PowerTools Studio software utilizes an intuitive project explorer to organize your applications. I'll begin by expanding the hardware step of the project explorer and clicking on drive encoder motor like this. In this view, I'll specify the model number of the drive I'm using, then I'll choose my motor, and finally I'll specify the motor feedback device. The model number of my drive happens to be the default selection, but you may use the drop-down menu to choose the drive that you're using for your application. Next, I'll specify the motor I've chosen for this application. It's a model number 067EDA300. The PTI 210 module makes pairing motors and drives easy. The electrical characteristics of our servo motors are stored in a database within PowerTool Studio software. In addition, and as you can see here, it is easy to create custom motors which can be recalled for future use and added to the database. I'll move on to the encoder selection section and I'll use the drop down menu to choose the encoder that I have mounted to this motor, which is an NDAT encoder. Before closing this screen, and because I'm using an NDAT encoder, I'm going to specify the thermistor type to be encoder. The motor thermal information when using an NDAT encoder is included in the transmission between the drive and the encoder. Now, let's move on to step two. For step two, I have the setup level of the Project Explorer open, and I'm working in the user units view. One of the most challenging parts of a motion control application is defining the mechanical relationship between the servo motor and the mechanism it is operating. PowerTool Studio software makes this easy by permitting the user to define units for distance and then further defining the quantity of distance units there are Per motor revolution. I'm working with a rotary application, so I'm going to use units of degrees, which I'll abbreviate using DEG. Since I have no gearing between my motor and the rotary table, I'll define the quantity of degrees per motor revolution as being 360.00 degrees per one motor revolution.
That's all there is to it. Now, let's move on to step three. One of the more powerful features of PowerTool Studio software is its ability to map digital I.O. to control functions. Here, I have the Assignments view of the Project Explorer open. To demonstrate this feature, I'll begin by assigning my home proximity sensor to digital input number 4 on the Digitax HD M750 drive by dragging the home sensor function and dropping it onto the input like this. In step five, I'll be creating a motion program to sequence my motion profiles. So I'll also add a digital input that can be triggered to start the program. Finally, I'll also map a digital output to alert the PLC that the motor is in position, like this. Just because the PTI-210 module is easy to use doesn't mean that it cannot be used for challenging motion applications. The PTI-210 motion control module provides these motion profiles. Two different jog routines, a home routine, eight indexes with the possibility of increasing that number to a maximum of 255 indexes, electronic gearing, and an electronic cam. I'll start by defining my homing routine. This is the home configuration. I'll elect to use the proximity sensor that I assigned to drive input 4 in the previous step as my home reference. I may also choose what action to take if the proximity flag is active when I start my home profile here. Now I'll set my homing speed, acceleration, and deceleration. Next, I'll configure an index that I will use to position the rotary table. I'll choose index 0 for this motion. There are several options for the type of index that I can choose from. For this example, I'll leave it as an incremental index type, but here are the options that I could also have elected to use. Notice that the software automatically carried over my chosen distance units of degrees. I'll now enter my index distance, velocity, acceleration, and deceleration rates like this. The software also provides a visual analysis of the settings for this index here. Now let's move on to step five. This is the PowerTool Studio Program Editor. While the programming methodology is not graphical, we've made text-based programming as easy as possible by supporting drag and drop then fill in the blank to complete your desired program instruction. 
program flow and motion instructions are organized into groups to further enhance the ease of use of this software. I've created this example program to illustrate not only how intuitive it is to create anything from simple programs like this one, to much more elaborate applications, such as phase synchronization using multiple profilers and many other motion challenges. Before I go, I want to also point out a couple of the powerful program debugging tools built into this free software. First, PowerTool Studio software has a Where Am I feature, so you may easily trace your program steps. I'll turn it on now so you can see what I mean. The blue pointer will move to show you the current program step. Second, I've created a user variable called MoveCounter. PowerTool Studio software also supports a real-time watch window so I can observe the state of my variable. I'll open the watch window configurator now to demonstrate this feature. See the count update? I think you'll agree. The combination of the PTI 210 motion control module and PowerTool Studio software combined to make control techniques the leader in easy to use yet powerful tools for the automation industry.